Hello out there and welcome to another video by the team here at BlenderTech.com That's Blender T E K dot com Unity videos will soon have their own website Please like the video if it helps and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D, Blender and coding The team tries to add between 3 to 10 videos a day And don't forget, create your way So if you don't already have Unity open, then open it up and we'll get started. I'm using Unity 4.5.4F currently and I see that an update has been released with some big changes especially ones that use Blender. Mech animation has been updated so that you can basically export your your rigged characters from Blender directly into Unity more easily than you could have before so I suggest that you download that. Unity is free to download for personal use the basic version. There is a pro version for commercial use. Today, however, I'm going to assume you've played around with Unity for a while and I've figured out some of the basics. Until I release my very first basic video, I'm going to continue assuming that. Today you will learn how to create objects, how to manipulate them different ways, and how 3D space works. We will also start learning about scene layouts and organization. So let's get started. So let's create a new project by going File, New Project. This should be the window that you get when you open Unity from stock. So select a project location. I select you keep all your projects in one folder and keep them organized in subfolders because each project has, as you can see here, an assets folder and your assets folder will have more subfolders where you'll have things like textures, game objects, scripts, audio, etc. So I already have my path here. I'm just going to paste it and hit create and we'll be ready to go. You'll see the welcome to Unity screen come up if you haven't unchecked show at startup I suggest you view the video tutorials the unity basics and go to the unity form also the unity asset store if you go to um, most popular free there's quite a few handy things in there there's some, a few tutorial there's one or two interactive tutorials and there's also just some basic things that you can play around with and screw around with and we'll get into how to import and use the asset store in another video. So let's close that off. First of all I'm going to show you how to manipulate and work with objects in Unity. Let's create a cube. Go to game object, create other, and then select cube. You will see we've now created a cube in Unity. With your cube selected either from here in the hierarchy window or in the scene view by clicking on it, you will see up here under the inspector window the name cube I've got it highlighted here just like in blender let's call it something like care actor one hit enter and you will now see in our hierarchy window it is changed to character one so now our cube is called character one just like in blender as well objects can be moved and positioned in 3d space manually or by entering in these boxes here in Unity, this is done under Transform. As you can see, we have Position, Rotation, and Scale. The same three ways you would work with any 3D object in any other program like Blender or whatever. So you should be familiar with these terms. The origin is where we've created our cube, and that's kind of like your center point in Blender. So the origin is 0, 0, 0. That's where we've created our cube. If your cube isn't there for some reason, make sure you type in 0, 0, 0, and that way it will be at the origin. So make sure your settings are 0, 0, 0 for rotation, 0, 0, 0, and for scale, 1, 1, 1, just to follow along. If you don't see all this in your inspector window, again, make sure you have character 1 selected by one of the two ways I showed you, either in the hierarchy window or the main scene window here. In the hierarchy window, this window is, or this toolbar, I guess, is where you layer your scenes just like the render layers window in Blender where you can select objects by their name, hide them, etc. If your cube has disappeared, for example, something like this, that's because we moved it away from the camera's view. 
Click on the gray area of the scene view and drag the right mouse button to look around. We've now, we can now see our cube again. Also, if you can't find it and it's disappeared, you can double click in the hierarchy window on the name and it will zoom into it automatically, just like that. Same as using numpad period in Blender. Now we can learn the basic tools of Unity to change objects, positions, and 3D space. Again, just like Blender. Choose the move tool from the top left corner, which looks like four arrows. This is called the translate tool. The hot key for this is W on your keyboard, and I suggest you learn the hot keys, especially these basic ones. Now you can see that we have these three manipulator handles. Just like most 3D programs, the X is red, the Y is yellow, and the Z is blue. This is true here as well. You can now play around with moving the object around in 3D space by grabbing the handles. To rotate objects, select the rotate tool which looks like two curved arrows. The hot key for this is E which is handily right beside W so it's physically the same on your keyboard as it is on the screen. W, E. Notice our position in the inspector window has the values have changed as we played with the handles from the transform tool. You can also manually type in values here. For example, if we wanted to go back to the origin, we would type in 0, 0, 0. And that way we don't have to use the transform tool. We can just type in the values as to where we want it to be. Now just like in Blender, the rotation handles work exactly the same. You grab the colored axis you want and then you rotate it however many degrees you'd like. So there's the X, here's the Y, and here's the Z. And you can see the values change in the inspector window again. So we could set them again back to stock by 0, 0, 0. And we're back to where we started. Lastly, to scale objects, bigger or smaller, choose the scale tool. Again, the hotkey for this is R. So they're all in a horizontal row in the keyboard. W E, R. Nice and easy to remember and they're all on a line. These hotkeys should be the first ones that you put in your brain compartments and decompartments. We have the same square handles now that we would have in Blender and they're used in the same way. We can drag the Y axis to scale it that way, we can drag the Z axis to scale it that way, and we can drag the X axis to scale it that way. And same deal as before in the inspector window. Zero, zero, zero would scale it down to basically nothing. But we want to leave it as a stock, which would be one, one, one. So now we have our cube back again. Next up, we will be learning about scene hierarchy. Create an empty game object. This is just like making an empty in Blender. To create our empty game object, click Game Object, Create Empty. You will now see a new object came up called Game Object. Over in the inspector window, you will see it has nothing except for Transform. We're going to leave it where it is, which will be the very center point, and we can use this empty game object to start parenting objects. Parenting objects works kind of the same way as in Blender, and they also are used for scene organization in the hierarchy window. With game objects selected, one last thing to notice is, as I said, it only has the transform component, but we can always add components to our objects by clicking add component, but we'll get more into that later. To start organizing our scene, let's parent our cube, which we've called character1, to game object. To parent an object, make sure it's selected and then click and drag it onto the object you want to parent it under. So now game object is the parent, that's our empty, and character one, that's our cube, is the child. And now we have this menu that we can open and close to organize our scene. We can delete the main camera since we don't need it, and so everything's nice and organized now. We have our empty game object, and under it, its child is character one. You should be familiar with the terms parent and child from Blender. We can also create childs of childs, parents of parents, and so on and so forth. 
organizing your scenes in Unity is crucial because you can and will have so many different things in your hierarchy window that without parenting things that need to be parenting and can be parented, it will become flooded. Of course, we don't want everything to become parented, however. We can now rename our game object to parent for more organization. So click game object in the hierarchy window and over here in the inspector window beside this little checkbox we can rename it just like we did the cube to parent. So as you can see in the hierarchy window it's changed. We have our parent and its child is character one. Let's do some translation again. I'm going to show you something interesting. Translation again remember is the four arrows sticking out or the W hotkey. So let's change the pivot point in the editor. As you can see here, it says pivot. Remember how pivot points work in Blender? It's similar in Unity. In the top left corner beside your tools, you'll see the word center or pivot. If it's center, change it to pivot. Select your cube now, which is our child object under our parent empty object. And let's just, I'm just gonna move it someplace first. So now that our parent is in the center and we've moved our character object a distance away, let's select the rotate tool. Now make sure you're in pivot mode and that it's also in global mode. So choose parent and make sure we're in rotate mode. Again, that's hotkey E. And now rotate your parent object. As you can see, it rotates our cube relative to the parent object. This works just like parenting in Blender and it's exactly the same in Unity. Your child object will transform relative to your parent object. It's rotated, scaled, whatever, relative to our parent game object. If we were to scale our parent object, it would scale the cube in. If we were to transform the parent object, it would transform the cube as well. In this case, character one. This is useful for organizing your scenes in Unity and setting up different objects to be moved from a certain area. So now you can play around some more. You can create more parents and more cubes and try to build something simple that can move all on its own or have separate parts moving around from a parent. But I'm going to skip over that because it's simple and boring. In the next video we will get into more fun with objects using and changing physics. Thanks for watching this video from the team here at BlenderTech.com. Again, that's BlenderTech.com. If you enjoyed this video and it helped, please like it and don't forget to subscribe for more Unity 3D, Blender, and coding tutorial videos. We try to add between 3 to 10 a day. If for some reason you dislike this video, don't just leave. Please add a comment that tells us what we can improve on so that each video gets better and better. For private concerns, we can email, be emailed at info at blendertech.com. We also take input as to what we should add more of, and we also take the toil requests. So if there's something you'd like to learn, let us know. See you next time, and remember, create your way.